If you can recall from the switch case tutorial, the switch case format would look like this, where if I'm creating a new switch case, I need a switch case variable. Let's call it value equal to two. And now my switch uh, statement, I need to pass in the switch variable. And the format would pretty much look like this, where I'll add uh, just a couple of cases to demonstrate. So it'll be case one break, case two break, and then the default case. Okay, uh, and that's the format where the cases are at the same indentation level as the switch uh, case itself, as the switch braces. Uh, so that's the original rule I had in my previous video. And the change I made to this one is that I decided to add an indentation level to the switch case body. So add an indentation level to those so that the cases are on, the, on another indentation level as the switch braces. Um, this is to make it visually disconnected. And that does make the code look better and a lot easier uh, to read. Um, so now the rule would look uh, like this for switch case uh, uh, formatting because I think it's much better to do it this way. Um, and now, in fact, you can go further and update your Eclipse Auto formatting, the one that I showed you early at the start of the series. Um, <clears throat> and you can do that by going to Window, Preferences, uh, so go to CC++, Code Style, and Formatter. And on this, click on Edit, uh, and go to the Indentation tab, and you'll see this checkbox for statements within switch uh, body. Uh, if I scroll down, there is a, an example switch case. When I tick this box, the cases will be indented further to the right. So let me do that. You see this one came a bit to the right. And that's what I need. So click on apply. OK. Now Eclipse will automatically do the formatting uh, for us. So let me try to recreate this switch case again. And you will see when I click, when I go to the new line, uh, Eclipse will uh, realize that automatically. So um, open a brace, click enter, now do case one. You see, it already went to the next indentation level, unlike the previous one. Okay. So, uh, and that's all I want to show you uh, at this video. Give us a thumb up if you like the video, and see you in the next one.